Soba my cousin, welcome to my channel. I take ordinary dishes and make it extraordinary. Today we are having a special treat. I'm making donuts. To start, you need two cups of self rising flour, half a cup of sugar, tablespoon of fast acting yeast, a teaspoon of baking powder, a cup of hot water, and stir it together. So whilst I'm stirring this, I want to thank you all for watching my video. But if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Next, we're going to cover it up and let it sit for a couple hours. I'm going to make a second batch, so I'm going to repeat the process. And you can also add one tablespoon of vanilla extract. As I'm stirring, um, don't forget to hit the notification bell because from now on, I'm not going to send my videos through WhatsApp anymore. So we're going to add the second bowl and cover it up with the towel. Next, you need a pot of boiling water to help melt the chocolate. We're going to put the chocolate and a stick of butter in a glass bowl. So you are not putting the chocolate in straight into the boiling water. We have a glass bowl that is sitting on top of the boiling water. And this helped the chocolate and the butter melt together. So after a couple of hours, our dough has doubled in size. So we are going to knead it together and put it on a lightly flour board. So now we are rolling it with a rolling pin and we're going to cut it with a circle cookie cutter. And then we use a smaller cookie cutter to make a hole in the middle. My grandson is going to love this donut. He's always asking for a donut with a hole in the middle. Be sure to put the smaller circles on the tray because you can fry it and make a mini donut. So now our oil is hot, so we are putting our dough in the oil. We're going to continue to fry for about three to five minutes until it's golden brown. Then repeat the process until you fry all the dough. Remember to turn the donuts so they can brown on both sides. After three to five minutes, the donut is ready to be taken out. Now we are all done. The last step is to glaze your donut. And you can add sprinkles too. My grandson loves sprinkles. Voila! Hmm. This is delicious. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.